hey guys welcome back to another youtube video so i'm back in another video on instagram so i got a lot of questions asking you know how many dms should i send what should i do instagram restricted my account so i'm going to cover all of this in this short video so i hope you guys enjoy this so first of all coming to instagram why would instagram restrict you now there are a lot of reasons instagram can restrict you it may be not because of only you but it may be the algorithm playing part of it and you know there's some things that we cannot handle because it's on the back end of instagram and it's not in our you know hands that why instagram blocked you or why instagram says that your actions have been blocked so that's why i'm making this short video so that if this happens with you you know what to do so you know our main focus should be on what we can do so let's start with if you get a temporary restriction or a limit on how many actions you can take on the account so when you get a temporary limit placed on your account the first and only action you should take place is that you should connect your instagram account to your actual facebook page or facebook account what this does is it overrides instagram's algorithm into believing that you were a bot because now you've made an action of actually connecting a page to a actual instagram account when this happens instagram feels okay this is an actual person because they have a facebook account they're connecting the account to facebook so this way the the temporary ban that you have gets lifted and you get your account restriction back to normal now what to do when instagram actually disables your account as a whole now before your account gets disabled you'll see a message of suspicious activity and that you've been actually logged out of the account now when you're logged out of the account initiate suspicious activity report this when you click on report a few minutes or hours later instagram will actually send you an email to the account that you registered with now this email would contain a lot of information about what happened it would ask you to take a selfie of you holding a piece of paper with a code on it now what you need to do is send this out immediately just take a piece of paper write the otp or the code that they send you hold it up take a selfie a clear one with your face visible in it they may ask for additional id as well which you can attach to and just send it over once you send this over instagram will take about 24 to 48 hours to process your request and if they find everything to be okay they'll, they'll just give you account back in maximum 48 hours if they do not get back to you in 48 hours or 72 hours just just it's i'm sorry to say but your account may be gone for good uh i won't recommend you to keep on repeating this because the more you try to log into your account it'll give you the, again the same message the same email and the more times you actually process the same request the more unlikely it is for you to actually get your account back so just do that so all i say is simply wait you'll get your account back 99 percent of the times if you did if you did this right now, I usually get asked what to do to avoid this to have from happening in the first place. So what I tell people to do at an old account, an old account means an account that has been running for over one year or so, to send between 40 to 70 DMs per day, not more than that. Remain active on Instagram, post content, act like a normal person would on Instagram. Make sure there's not a lot of copy paste and you aren't sending too many, uh, too many messages via cold email. So, you know, just do that. Uh, when it comes to a new account, uh, just take things slow. Don't send more than 30 DMs a day. If you're sending more than 30 DMs a day, make sure that you're not copy pasting at all. Maximally restrict yourself to 40 DMs because you don't want a fresh account of yours to just lose, lose access to. Limit the account that you follow to 10 per hour. So when you're sending follow requests or following different accounts, limit the accounts to 10. Don't, do not use a VPN in a new account because the more you show that you're logging in from different places, the more suspicious Instagram gets. So make sure that you follow these tips and tricks when you're doing Instagram outreach for your own agency. I have started doing Instagram outreach as a done for you service as well. And I've seen this happen so many times with my client accounts coming and saying, you know, we got restricted on Instagram. Are you sure you can do this? Because they're not following the right practices. When you follow the right practices on Instagram, you'll be able to get much more done very, very easily. So make sure that you are doing that. Make sure you're not sending too many DMs. Make sure your virtual assistant is not copy pasting messages. Make sure you're adding some personalized element to the actual DM. What I tell my specialists who are offering my Instagram done for you. So if you guys don't know, I've launched a new offer called the Instagram done for you offer where we actually send out these DMs for you and get you booked Loom appointments, not booked appointments, but booked Loom appointments where you can send them a Loom explaining your services something catering to them of free value and then you can book them into a meeting so what i tell my specialist to do is to send a personalized line in every message that they are sending not to send more than 10 dms at 10 dms per hour so that's maybe six minutes per dm that they are spending 
and just just to act as a person just go on like some posts just scroll around instagram scroll on the explore page a bit don't restrict yourself to just you know okay i'll just do this and then come back out of the account i'll copy paste come back out of the account it may seem simple but it'll harm your account so much i can't even tell you so make sure you're doing that and yeah that's it for this video in case i can help you guys any more let me know down below in the comment section and be happy to and uh, you can join our face free facebook group down below as well i hope to see you in there thank you so much i hope you guys enjoy talk to you guys soon bye